What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be doing our final what players wear on the field for the season, and today's feature athlete is going to be the GOAT, Tom Brady. So in case you guys somehow haven't heard, Tom Brady at 44 years old and after 22 seasons in the NFL has called it a career. He is retiring, so we figure it's only right to do his equipment and talk about it for you guys today. So like I mentioned earlier, this is likely going to be our last what players wear on the field video for the season. As you guys know, the season's over. Congratulations to the Rams. Um, but moving forward, we got to make more videos for you guys. So give us some ideas, give us some comments. Let us know what you guys want to see from this channel, what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, we do check all the comments. So if you guys have any cool ideas or stuff you want to see let us know right now in the comments just in case you guys have not watched any of our what players wear on the field series what we do is we take a player for this video it's going to be tom brady the goat and we talk about his gear head to toe helmets cleats gloves shoulder pads you name it we're going to talk about it in today's video so not only am i going to tell you guys what gear the guy is wearing i'm going to tell you guys why they wear it and where you guys can buy it for yourself so let's get right into the video the first thing i want to talk about is a helmet that tom brady no longer wears but he did wear from 2004 to 2018. For 14 years of his career and plenty of Super Bowls, Tom Brady was in the Riddell VSR4 football helmet. So the Riddell VS4 is an ancient football helmet from Riddell. At one point, probably in the early 2000s, late 90s, the VSR was probably the best helmet you could get. Um, I'm not exactly sure with those dates, um, but it's an old football helmet and Tom Brady loved it. Won a ton of Super Bowls in it, but in 2018, it was deemed unsafe by the NFL. The helmet was officially outdated and he was forced to make the switch. So I know I tell you guys where to get these products in these videos, but I don't think any of you guys want to really wear a Riddell VSR4, but I'm sure there's some really cool collectibles out there on eBay. So take a look for that if you guys are interested. So if you guys have watched Tom Brady in the last three years, he's been wearing the Riddell Speedflex. Like I mentioned, his previous helmet got banned in 2018. So in 2018, he made the switch to the Speedflex. He was pretty hesitant at first, um, but I think he's got comfortable with it and even won a ring uh, last year with Tampa. So Tom Brady wore a Riddell Speedflex Precision Fit. And what Precision Fit means is that Riddell came to Tom Brady, scanned his head, and made custom fit pads for the inside of the helmet. So this helmet is custom fit to Tom Brady, and no other player can wear this helmet. Talked about the Riddell Speedflex a ton during these What Players Wear on the Field videos, and this is going to be the last time we're going to do it for this season. So here it is. This is the Riddell Speedflex. It's easily identifiable by this uh, hex panel on the front, and what this panel does is it flexes to absorb contact. Uh, the Speedflex is one of the best helmets in the game. Um, it combines modern styling with top-of-the-line protection and is one of the best helmets money can buy. The Speedflex is the most common football helmet across all levels of football, and it's also a five-star rated football helmet. Excellent choice. If you guys are interested in getting a Riddell Speedflex like Tony and I, you guys can get them from our good friends over at Green Gridiron for $440. We will have a link in the description for you guys. But now the next thing I want to talk about is Tom Brady's custom CU-SF-2B face mask. So I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is a custom face mask built for Tom Brady. Um, if you guys look at it, the two top bars at the top of the face mask are together. They're not separate like most masks. And also, if you guys look at it, it appears to be like slightly downward, like the actual like grill part of the face mask is like slightly tilted down. And this gives Tom Brady tons and tons of vision, um, kind of kind of mimicking his old style that he had on the VSR4. Just a super simple face mask with tons of visibility. So like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a custom face mask. I can't seem to find it anywhere for sale. Even our good friends over at Green Gridiron don't seem to have it. Um, so it's a rare face mask and it may be custom built just for Tom Brady. Um, it's a weird looking face mask. I wouldn't wear it personally, um, but obviously worked for the GOAT. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is a visor Tom Brady wore for an incredibly brief, short period of time in Tampa during training camp. And it is a red torch Oakley visor. So like I mentioned, Tom Brady just kind of briefly pulled out this really sick visor. It's unlike anything we've really seen Tom Brady wear. Um, it looked really cool. As you guys know, Tom Brady is a really old school guy, so it's kind of weird to see him wear something kind of flashy like that. Had to include in the video. If you guys are interested in any colored Oakley visor, uh, Green Gridiron has them for about $50 to $90, so check them out. So now it's time to talk about Tom Brady's chin strap. For most of Tom Brady's career, he wore a soft cup chin strap. The specific model that he's been wearing on his Speedflex is the Sports Star soft cup chin strap with the Sports Star Flex adapters. We rarely see players still wearing soft cup chin straps, but Tom Brady, He's ancient, he's been around forever, and he barely gets hit as it is. So he doesn't really need that chin protection because he, he usually just lays on the ground. He doesn't really take a lot of hits. Um, occasionally he'll scramble for a first down, um, but he really doesn't get hit a ton. So like I mentioned, Tom Brady also uses Sports Stars Flex adapters. And what these are is they're small little adapters that go right here. And it kind of replaces the cam lock system and allows Tom Brady to use the classic uh, buckle system, which obviously, like I said, old school guy, 
he feels a lot more comfortable with the buckles. But yeah, Tom Brady's 44, so his old school equipment tendencies don't really come as a surprise. Um, he's an old man, what can I say? If you guys are interested in this chin strap setup, you guys can get the Sports Star Soft Cup chin strap for $25 and the Flex Adapters also from Sports Star for $15. We'll link it below. Also, again, in case you guys are new to these videos, something to keep in mind as you guys watch them. Every single product we talk about, we will link them in the description, so check it out. So next thing I wanna talk about is Tom Brady's Douglas shoulder pads. So ever since his days in Michigan in like 1995 or whatever, Tom Brady has been wearing Douglas shoulder pads. A Bleacher Report article from 2019 actually revealed that Tom Brady has worn the exact same pair of shoulder pads from 1995 to, like I said, the article was at 2019. So that's, what's that quick math? Uh, 24 years, is that wrong? 26 years, wait. 24 years, it was 24 years, damn. Back in 1995, while he was at Michigan, Tom Brady actually reached out to the guys at Douglas and kind of created a custom shoulder pad for him. These shoulder pads have lighter cups and epaulets and more chest protection. Brady even said, uh, they've gotten reconditioned a little bit, but I think once you find something you like, you kind of stick with it. Um, I've always kind of liked the way they felt, the shape of them. People have tried to put me in a lot of other ones, but of course he stays true to these Douglas shoulder pads. So of course these shoulder pads have gone through a lot, endless practices, regular season games, playoff games, Super Bowls, they've been with Tom Brady through everything. Um, they're probably hardly the exact same pair of shoulder pads. Um, every part in these shoulder pads has probably been replaced or refurbished at one point, um, but Tom Brady still feels super comfortable in them and sticks with them. If you guys are interested in Douglas shoulder pads, um, obviously Tom Brady's is custom to him and they're ancient. Um, but if you guys wanna shop some of the current models, they do have them available at Dick Sporting Goods. All sorts of models, different price ranges, check them out, linked below. The next piece of equipment that I wanna talk about is something kind of funny, pretty cool. Um, and that's gonna be Tom Brady's kitchen towel. So for the last couple of years with the Buccaneers, Tom Brady has been sporting this absolutely large uh, kitchen towel um, kind of tucked in the front of his pants to keep his hands dry. If any of you guys live in the Tampa Bay area, I do suggest you go check your kitchen to see if your towel is missing or maybe Giselle, maybe it's Giselle's towel. Um, this is not kind of a standard team issued towel. Um, this genuinely looks like a kitchen towel or maybe even a bath towel. It's absolutely huge. Um, it looks like it's never been on a football field in its life, um, but it works for Tom Brady. So who are we to judge, right? If you guys want to get your own kitchen towel to wear in football, I suggest you check your local Walmart, Target, uh, maybe a home goods. Um, I don't know if we'll link that below for you guys, but go, go get yourself a kitchen towel. All right, next thing I want to talk about is Tom Brady's knee brace. Tom Brady wears the Don Joy A22 custom knee brace. So after Tom Brady tore his ACL back in 2008, he started wearing a knee brace on his left knee. This brace is gonna give him a little bit more support on that injured knee and also kind of protect his blind side. Tom Brady has talked about the brace in the past, kind of questioning why more quarterbacks in the NFL don't wear it. Um, as a quarterback, obviously you have a blind side um, and that brace is gonna give you guys more stability on that knee and prevent you um, from injuring that knee if you get rolled up on by an offensive lineman or a defensive lineman. Um, just that left knee is so vulnerable to a quarterback. Um, it makes sense to wear a brace. If you guys are interested in this Don Joy Custom A22 knee brace, we have linked a spot where you guys can inquire about ordering one and um, get yourself one from Don Joy. All right, guys, we finally made it all the way to the bottom and it's time to talk about the cleats. So for as long as I can remember, Tom Brady has been wearing his own custom Under Armour player exclusive cleats. I really don't know a ton about these cleats. Um, I know that they're Under Armour. I know that Tom Brady is the only player to wear them and I know they are the kind of the NFL equivalent to Skechers shape ups. They're, they're hideous, they're huge, they're bulky. They don't look good, um, but obviously they work for Tom Brady. He has seven rings. He's the greatest of all time, um, but they're, they're ugly. I'm sorry, Tom, they're just really ugly. So yeah, like I said, these cleats are incredibly bulky. They probably weigh over a pound each. Um, but they were good enough for seven Super Bowls, so who are we to judge? Also, just something to note, Tom Brady has worn a couple different versions of these. Um, he has a couple different uh, cleat models, and then he also has turf models as well. All of them, I really don't know a ton about them. They're, they're Tom Brady PEs, you know, nobody else really has them. They're not really worn by anybody else. Um, I don't have a ton of information on them, but like I said, they're hideous. I hate them, always will, always have. So as you guys probably guessed, you guys can't get these cleats. Um, not that you'd actually really want them, but you guys can shop some other Under Armour models on eSpace's website. So check it out, linked below. So there you guys have it. There's the game day gear worn by Tom Brady. He's 44 years old. His gear's not flashy, it never has been, um, but you gotta pay respect with respect to Tom Brady is the greatest player to ever touch the gridiron. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, consider like, comment, subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Evan, also known as FBE, and thanks again for watching another episode of Footballers.